Hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel. As always, this time we will present you a new car. Sit back and enjoy the video. The chaos of upheaval can create opportunity. Take the dawning EV revolution, which has already seen a startup car company rocket past century-old competitors to become the most valuable automaker on earth. In the latest upset, a Korean brand best known for low prices, long warranties, and liberal financing has created a machine with performance that rivals the most revered Germans. In nomenclature, the difference between the Kia EV6 GT and the lesser EV6 GT line models is slight. The headline achievement is the powertrain. Other dual-motor, all-wheel drive EV6 models serve up 320 total horsepower. The GT, presumably after downing a can of spinach, is bursting with 576 horses. A new GT mode affords access to the entire thundering herd. Normal and sport modes limit output to 460 horsepower, and Eco cuts it to 288. The full hit of torque, which has climbed from 446 pound-feet in the all-wheel drive GT line to 545, is always available. The 320 horsepower EV6 GT line hit 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, but the GT made the leap in 3.2. You know what else laid down a 3.2 second 60 mile per hour time? The Audi RS Q8. As for other EVs, the Kia vaults past the Ford Mustang Mach-E GT performance 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, quarter mile in 12.7 at 101 miles per hour to sit at the head of the table with the Porsche Taycan 4S 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds, quarter mile in 11.7 at 120 miles per hour and the BMW i4 M50 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds, quarter mile in 11.7 at 120 miles per hour. With the dampers in their normal mode, the ride is acceptable, but it becomes quite stiff in the firmer settings. The payoff is that this car eats up corners, guided by steering that never gets too heavy, even in Sport Plus mode. The setting optimizes the front-to-rear torque split in the Elst, making it possible to drift, or, as we discovered on wet pavement, to spin. This thing is the Firebird Trans Am of crossover EVs. Good thing the GT also has more substantial brakes, 15.0-inch front discs and 14.2-inch rears, as opposed to the 12.8-inch front and rear rotors in lesser models. They stop the EV6 from 70 miles per hour in 159 feet and are easy to modulate in either of their two settings. Drivers can choose how much to interact with the brakes, as the GT offers the gamut of Regan, from none to true one pedal driving with three steps in between. The battery pack is one element that hasn't been upgraded, and therein lies this car's weakness. The 77.4 kWh battery, good for an EPA-rated 274 to 282 miles in the regular dual-motor EV6 and 310 miles in the single-motor version, here delivers an estimated 206 miles. The battery drains fast but also quickly refills thanks to an 800-volt architecture that gulps electrons at a rate of up to 240 kilowatts. The GT's battery went from 10 to 90% in 26 minutes on a DC fast charger. For all its perception-shattering performance, the GT is visually demure. It's true that the EV6 is stylishly sleek and futuristic, but the GT is barely discernible from lesser models. It lacks the plumage of Max Attack Porsches, M cars, and AMGs. With the EV6 GT, Kia shows it can make a muscle machine, but it doesn't yet have the confidence to brag about it. Maybe its next one will be loud and proud, wild wings, a dive plane splitter, blistered fenders, canards and vortex generators, a screaming chicken on the hood. In chaotic times, expect the unexpected. If you want to receive the most reliable information about cars, do not forget to subscribe to our channel.